You're wondering what the significance is of the Native American headdress. You've seen this popular native symbol in so many places, but why is it such an important symbol? Watch this video to find out what the significance of the Native American headdress is so you could quickly have a solid understanding of what this amazing indigenous symbol really means. I'm Mallory Graham from TribalTradeCo.com where we offer over 130 different styles of moccasins and mukluks and medicinal smudging products. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time we post a brand new video just like this one on indigenous moccasins, sacred medicines, and the indigenous culture. If you are looking to find out what the real significance of the Native American headdress is to indigenous people, then we are here to share the top five important points of what the Native American headdress really is. That way you can confidently share this knowledge with your friends and family and avoid offending anyone and help others be respectful to the indigenous people of North America. By the end of this video you will have a full understanding of exactly what the significance of the Native American headdress really is and why you see this amazing symbol in so many places. You've seen the headdress in tons of places. Anywhere that you see a chief's head, the chief is typically wearing a headdress on top of their head. There are five main points or questions to cover in understanding the significance of the Native American headdress, which we will take you through now. The first question that we have about the Native American headdress is, what exactly is a headdress? The Native American headdress is a headpiece with feathers attached to the entire top edge of a leather headband. The headband can be embellished with beadwork or just left as natural leather. The feathers on the headdress are typically used from a local fallen bird that is indigenous to the local area of the tribe that is making that headdress. The feathers are held together with leather thread or sinew and can be designed in many different ways depending on how the artist wants the headdress to look. It's important to note that there are actually many different types of headdresses and many different styles that come from different areas and regions of Turtle Island, which is now known as North America. Now that we know what the headdress actually is, we can move on to the second most important question about the Native American headdress. The second question we have about the headdress is why is the headdress important? The Native American headdress is a well-known symbol of strength and bravery to the indigenous people of North America. Headdress Dresses are important because they have been worn by the most important and influential members of the tribe. We'll expand on this later, but headdresses are not made in one day. They take a very long process to make, and the process itself displays how important and meaningful it is for the person who has earned the headdress. Another reason for the importance of the headdress is that it's not only one of the greatest honors to wear wear one of these beautiful pieces of art, but to be able to be the close friend, brave warrior, or chief who actually makes the headdress is also an incredible honor. Now that you know why the headdress is so important, let's move on to the third point. The third question we have about the Native American headdress is, how is the headdress actually made? To make a headdress, one single feather would be added to the band each time the recipient committed an act of bravery. Headdresses were only made when someone earned this honorable headpiece. Some tribes required that the recipient or the person wearing the headdress fast for several days before earning each additional feather to show their loyalty towards the tribe. The process of making the headdress itself shows the great significance that the headdress has in the Native American culture. Like we mentioned in the first question, there are many different types of headdresses that serve very different purposes and come from very different regions and territories of Turtle Island. Unfortunately, traditional indigenous headdresses are rare, but maybe you have seen an authentic native headdress before. If yes, comment below with yes. If no, comment below with no. So now we've looked at the first three points to know about the significance of the Native American headdress, which are what exactly is a 
headdress, why is the headdress important, and how is the headdress made? The fourth question that we have about the Native American headdress is who would actually wear a headdress? Only those who were known as being admired or greatly respected from other members of the tribe would wear a headdress, as its symbol represents bravery and honor. A distinguished community member such as a chief or a warrior or someone being honored for something would typically wear a headdress. It was once common for headdresses to be worn in battle as well by the Native American people of Canada or the United States. Currently, you would most likely see a headdress worn in a traditional Native wedding ceremony or another ceremony such as a powwow, swearing in, or something like that. There are many different types of headdresses that have different styles and meanings, but one similarity amongst all headdresses is that they had to be earned to be worn. Both men and women can wear a headdress. The only difference would be some men wore the war bonnet style and women mostly wore the beaded headband style. Now that we know who should wear a headdress, who shouldn't wear one? <laughs> that basically means that everyone else shouldn't. Those who haven't earned it or done something to earn the right to wear a headdress should not be wearing one. Now the fifth and final question we have about the Native American headdress is how can we be respectful regarding the headdress? There are many different sides and opinions surrounding the headdress and other cultural symbols being worn appropriately or not. Many activists take major offense to those wearing headdresses who haven't earned them, as it's seen as disrespectful for those who have earned them. Many people would also say that wearing a headdress when you haven't earned it is extremely offensive to the validity and meaning that the headdress has. The headdress symbol itself is seen on other pieces of clothing and accessories, which can be okay or might offend a traditional native person depending on their attitudes and feelings about it. From observation, most native people get upset or offended when headdresses are used as mascots or costumes. So I would recommend trying to steer clear of that if your intention is to be respectful. There is no general rule or consensus to whether wearing the headdress in clothing or accessories is appropriate or not. So now we've gone through all five points to know about the significance of the Native American headdress, which are one, what exactly is a headdress, two, why is the headdress important, three, how is the headdress made, four, who would wear a headdress, and five, how can we be respectful regarding the headdress. Now after following along with these five questions on the significance of the Native American headdress, you could feel confident on your knowledge about this important Native cultural symbol and how it fits in with our society today. If you are wanting to learn more about the various sacred medicines or the smudge process in general, download our free guide at the link in the description. Be sure to check us out at tribaltradeco.com and use this special coupon code for 15% off your order. Please reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram if you have any questions. If you like this video, please let us know by hitting the like button. Tell us what you liked about it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you next time.